Once again, grooming is back in session as Portland schools. What do you mean I can't say groomers? I don't give a fuck. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jasper Guns are here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. Well, recently, the higher ups, the men and women in the high tower recently banned the word groomer from the twitter sphere yes you can no longer say groomer well of course most of us really don't give a flying fuck. we're gonna say groomer anyway and speaking of groomers we go to portland where their schools are indoctrinating kids from k to fifth grade to become alphabet activists. Yes. Surprised? This comes out of Daily Wire. Of course, Portland School District indoctrinating students to become the alphabet activists K through five. Portland's public school system is indoctrinating its students to become queer activists as early as kindergarten through fifth grade. Parents, where the f are you? Documents obtained by writer and activist Christopher Rufo, uh, I suggest you check him out because this guy is just breaking story after story, shows that from an earliest kindergarten, students are taught the tenets of radical queer gender theory. Yes, there's a name for it now. There are taught that ideas that human sexuality are colonized, that white colonizers. Yes, it's bringing the whiteness because it's racism from Europe, forced their views on other people and their cultures. That current discourse around sex and gender is still affected by colonization. The curriculum instructs children to experiment with their own gender expression and to commit by as early as fifth grade to become queer activists. Yes, they're recruiting. The curriculum begins in kindergarten. Several PowerPoint presentations obtained by Rufo entitled Understanding Our Bodies, Kindergarten Health Scientists exposes children to talk about their genitalia by framing it in the context of being scientists to know about our bodies. Yes, because now they believe in science. The presentations then show graphic drawings of male and female genitalia. The presentations place particle uh, emphasis on the word bodies and refers to either a person with a penis or a person with a vulva because according to presentations, any gender and kid can have any type of body. Yes, 72,000 genders. The first and second grade students are indoctrinated into the basic tenets of queer theory and teaches students to think about gender as a social construct. Gender is something adults came up with, uh, sort of people, in two groups. One of the presentation reads, another presentation entitled Our Names, Genders, Pronouns encourages children pr to present their gender pronouns. Another presentation teaches students that gender is like outer space because there are so, because there are many ways to be different genders and there are stars as there are stars in the sky. Excuse me. In other presentations, students are exposed to gender pronouns, including trans pronouns like they, them, zizer, or you can just, the hell with it, make up your own damn name. It states, it also states students can go by more than a set of pronouns. Yes, you are not locked down to just one. No, there are billions out there. In third through fifth, students are indoctrinated to the alphabet concepts. Students are taught that their gender neutral terms for people, girls and boys, is replaced with words like learners, y'all, folks. Words like mom and dad are replaced by parents, family, or your adult. And honorifics, Mr. and Mrs. and Miss, are replaced by the gender neutral mix, MX. In other presentations, students are introduced to the concepts of cis heteronormativity which is used as a means of oppression and non-dominant sexual and gender identities. Being straight or cis are both dominant identities. The presentation says the culture, systems, and assumptions that everyone is straight is called heteronormative. The culture, systems, and assumptions that everyone is cis is called cis-normative. Therefore, the culture, systems, and assumptions that everyone is straight and cis is called cis-heteronormity. Heteronormativity. See where all this is going? Finally, students are asked to make a commitment to change according to the tenets of queer. The six commitments uh, students are asked to make are, I commit to learning more about the alphabet and how I've changed over time. I commit to learning about the history and leadership of black trans women, yes. I commit to practicing pronouns and correcting myself every 
in time. I commit to attending uh, these queer gender theories and being a leader at my school. I commit to watching, reading books, movies, TV shows that have alphabet characters, and I commit to being my full self. Fuck the parents. The Portland School District is home to more than 49,000 students across 79 schools in the city of Portland, Oregon. If you people think that, you know, groomer ended in freaking June, you guys are seriously mistaken. We're at the end of in July and they still keep pushing it. They still keep pushing it. Unless you had 50 Ron DeSantis running every single state, this shit is going to continue. This trash, this demonic garbage is going to be continued to be spewed onto your kids. And parents in Portland, you guys better wait the up. You guys better get straight as far as what's going on in your damn schools because your kids are being indoctrinated. Your kids are being brainwashed. And you guys want to sit there with your thumbs up your ass saying, oh, la, 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 you know, I hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. You know, there's nothing going on here. Frank Drebin, you know, place is on fire. Nothing to see here. Go home. This evil continues to be pushed further and further and further. And these ass wipes don't give two fucks about you parents. They just don't. They don't care. You still had purple hair flannel shirt wearer Karens still pushing this garbage in Florida. Still now. Even with everything Ron DeSantis has done. Because unless it's enforced on a local level, this shit will continue and at the cost of your kids. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bragonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.